An employee of the Try Guys has quit and spoken out about their time while working there that exposed the horrific ordeals they went through and what Ned did to them. Oh, it's horrendous. I didn't think it could get any worse. After five years at the Try Guys as their PA, cinematographer, podcast producer and muse, Miles Bonsignoire decided it was time for a change, but not without sharing his thoughts on the Try Guys. In a sarcastic video he'd posted to his channel, Miles had said some crazy, out the gate things about what it was really like working for the Try Guys. This is a little awkward to talk about um, just because I've worked there for a long time, but I recently discovered that Keith has been harvesting Zach's organs and selling them on the black market. So yeah, people weren't too fast when they'd heard this. They were like, seriously? I thought we were gonna get some actual dirt on the Try Guys. Well, maybe not the Try Guys, but at least some drama surrounding Ned Fulmer and Alex Herring and that whole fiasco. Well, it turns out he did mention Ned, but we'll get into that in a minute. Miles said that he really enjoyed working for the Try Guys. He got to do amazing things every single day, like feeding kangaroos out of the palm of his hand, to eating insanely expensive food. Miles said that he wouldn't have a career if it wasn't for Zach, Keith and Eugene. He didn't mention Ned, he he. So he was very, very grateful for working for them. He'd said he's been in the company for years and that he'd had low points, but that wasn't because of the Try Guys. That was because of Ned. Around a year ago, I almost quit my job. I was having a lot of difficulty with a certain member of the staff who is in charge of a lot of the business decisions of the company. And, you know, to avoid a defamation suit, I'll just say that I found this particular individual quite yucky. Lol. That's such a shame come to think of it. He's not the first person to have had issues with Ned prior to all that public drama going down. So what does that tell you? If you remember in one of my last videos on the Try Guys, Zach had actually spoken out about dramas he'd had with Ned regarding Ned getting all salty because he wanted an opportunity that was not given to him. We're just like talking about how badly we wanted the vacation and really the video was like, pick the other guy. Yeah. yeah. They came back, they picked us. Of course. Of course they of course picked it us. Is. And so then we, because this other person yeah. was real sad and salty about it. I don't even know if he knew that. Anyway, we turned it down. Salty, salty. Then of course we can't forget the fact that Ned was sleazing on his co-workers, not even co-workers, his literal employees. We all remember that drama that went down. And even former employees had spoken out about what Ned was really like to work with at the time, sending anonymous tips into Domoir. One anonymous user wrote in, when Try Guys had talks with employees, many said they noticed flirting, knew they had lunch hookups, stayed at each other's places occasionally, and showed up to events together. Together. For example, the Harry Styles concert and had big feels something was up. So this news has been aware to the Try Guys for close to a month, but what sparked the social media questioning and then uproar a few days back was Will releasing some images of the DMs he'd received on Reddit. Obviously, Ned has been fired. Another anonymous user had said, they all knew. Employees are really upset with how the internal review played out. Several people have left and refused to sign NDAs because they're angry at how they were dragged into the drama. The company was going to keep it a secret and until the fiancé leaked pictures. The internal review was to try and have employees cover his image. The rest of the guys knew he was cheating, just with someone else. The one he was caught cheating with will have a lot to say, and her friends who left the company will be speaking up about how it all went down. It's not so black and white. So yeah, Ned had issues with everyone, so it seems, and him and Ariel are still together, apparently. They may even be expecting a baby, or at least there's rumours about that. And well, Alex Herring's career is down the drain, the woman who home wrecked, and she has not posted to social media since. So anyway, Miles continued to drag Ned in his exposing video, stating this. Lucky for me, that guy was publicly shamed and ousted from his own company, so I stuck around for another year. But yeah, he went on to talk really positively about the Try Guys and what it was really like working for them, and I think this video he'd made shed a really positive light on the Try Guys, because obviously they've been through it the past year, they could have gotten sued, they were attacked online when this drama first went down because of the workplace relationship scandal that had happened. They're very, very lucky they didn't get sued. Ned essentially shit the bed, as geeklawfirm.com stated, and the Try Guys were left to clean up his mess. 
The legal side of things were really messy. In this article it stated, it's important to remember that these guys weren't just co-workers, they were co-owners of a company. They're creating content and running a business, it's basically two full-time jobs in one. As the Try Guys said in their What Happened video, they felt they had found their cadence where their company was consistently creating content and they finally had enough time to explore other personal projects as well. Just as they had established this balance, Ned, through his actions, effed all that up. The Try Guys had to drop everything and deal with hiring someone to do an HR investigation and talk to lawyers all day to figure out what they could and couldn't do. Given what they do for a living and that they live in Los Angeles, I would not be surprised if their lawyers cost $500 an hour. Dealing with this situation could have easily have costed them tens of thousands of dollars so far. On top of that, the Try Guys had created weeks, if not months worth of videos that probably cost thousands to make and now have to be scrapped because there's no way to edit a brown net. They also reduced their publication schedule from two videos a week to one, so that means less revenue coming in. So not only are they having to deal with substantial unexpected expenses but they've also lost money on top of that that they'll never recoup. And even after Ned left the Try Guys, they weren't done with dealing with the situation still, unfortunately. While everyone else is moving on to the next internet drama du jour, the Try Guys are still dealing with this. I suspect they're still having regular contact with their lawyers as they continue to clean up the figurative debris from this mess. Alexandria Herring was listed as an associate producer for the company until their latest video. It was clear from the responses from others in the company it would not be a work environment for her to remain employed there. I bet she wasn't terminated when Ned was voted out because they had to work with their legal team to give her a severance package that would allow them to terminate her employment without bringing a lawsuit onto themselves. Additionally, even though they voted Ned out of the company, the remaining Try Guys are still dealing with him from a legal perspective. He may be gone as a creator, but he's still an owner of the company. To get rid of him completely, somebody has to buy his own ownership interest. Assuming each of the Try Guys owns 25% of the company, they have to determine what the entire company is worth and negotiate a buy-sell agreement to purchase Ned's 25%. Finding a company that performs business valuations and having it done can take weeks, and then there could be weeks of negotiations about the contract's terms, including releases of liability. If I were a surviving owner, I'd want all the costs of having to deal with the Ned situation to be deducted from the purchase price of Ned's share. The only way I can think that would prevent the Try Guys from having to buy Ned out would be if they had an operating agreement in place that said certain bad acts by an owner would result in their owner forfeiting their ownership interest in the company and getting kicked out with nothing. My gut says that that didn't happen in the situation as of October 28th, Ned, meaning Fulmer Media Inc, was still listed as an owner of the company on the California Business Entity Database. So while Ned is doing his own thing, the other three guys have had to take a lot of time and energy away from what they were going to be doing to clean up Ned's mess, keep the company going in the interim, and probably will have to give him a lot of money to make him go away. Given all this, if I were Eugene, Zach and Keith, I'd be pretty upset too. Now going back to Miles' video, he ended up discussing what he was planning on doing going forward from here. Fans were here for the Ned shade and the comments, and were also impressed about what it's really like working for the Try Guys, especially because they'd received a lot of backlash after that scandal last year. Someone commented, I feel like this was the whole point of the Try Guys going off and doing their own thing to help develop others and themselves and be able to do their own projects and support their employees to go on and do content that they wanted to do. Miles, you're going to do amazing and you have a great team behind you in support of your new endeavour. Another user said, after seeing Ned actively bully you on the tripod when you were my favourite, it makes me too happy that I spend my cold hard cash on your Patreon. You're thriving and I love to see it. You throwing shade at Ned for being horrible to you was beautifully done. Just chef's kiss. So what are your thoughts on all this drama? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more juicy, juicy tea.